Good morning. Today is Thursday, October 20th, 2022. One of the most magnificent, far-reaching statements of all of Judaism occurs right at the beginning of the Torah, where the Torah says, B'Tselem Elohim Bara Oso. God created man, every human being, B'Tselem Elohim, in the image of God or in the form of God. And the first question that this begs is, but we're all so different from each other. We have different colors, we have different sizes, different characters, and later in human history, different religions, different different ethnicities, different races, different cultures. How are we all Tselem Elohim? How do we all resemble God if God is one and we are infinitely varied? So there are several answers to this question at different levels of complexity and abstraction. <coughs> I want to share with you today a very, very basic approach. And what I want to share this morning has innumerable practical applications in situations we often find ourselves in many different contexts. When we come upon someone who is other, someone with a different language, a different religion, a different race, a different ethnicity, a different culture, a different economic group, a different social group. Many of us have a feeling of apprehension. It may only be in our minds. We may not verbalize it. But we have, we all have preconceived notions about people. And we may think to ourselves, this encounter that I'm about to have, how is it going to turn out? What's it going to be like? And our feeling may be a concern from slightly negative to extremely negative if we're afraid of the other person. And it could just be two people walking past each other. It could be an encounter while driving. It could be an encounter when shopping. It could be something that we encounter on social media. Especially in a situation that is already fraught or tense or potentially combative. And sometimes those encounters about which we're apprehensive are negative. So I want to share with you a story. It's a true story. It's a story that I heard, <coughs> excuse me, it's a story I heard from Sarah Tuttle Singer. And the story itself is not so special. Sarah tells a lot of stories like this story, but it's the last line of this story <coughs> that is just magnificent. All right. So the story is like this. It's a scene in Jerusalem, and it's a restaurant that has outdoor seating, and it's crowded. And there's a woman, a young woman, and she's wearing a very, I'm describing it the way Sarah describes the story. She's wearing a very short dress. Her legs are bare. Her arms are bare. She has tattoos. In other words, a secular-looking person. And she is struggling to get her baby stroller out of this crowded restaurant. And she's not able to navigate because it's crowded. The tables are close together. People are standing in the aisle. People are bunched up at the entrance. And she can't get out. And so the path is blocked by a man, an elderly man with a walker, and he can't easily maneuver or move out of the way. So everyone else is kind of just stuck there. And it's blocked because on the side, there's a, a low wall that's on the side of this eating area. So 
there's no room to move, and the baby starts to whine. And it's clear that they are seconds away from very loud howling. And um, so Sarah is watching this scene, and she sees a Haredi man, a very religious Orthodox man, who is sitting at a table nearby, who also sees this scene, this woman, uh, tense, unable to get out, and her baby is about to cry. And she's, she's rigid, she's tense. And, of course, if you remember back to when you had a child in public and they're about to start screaming, you know, how you feel. And so the Haredi man says to this secular woman, he says, would you like me to help you? And all of a sudden, you see this woman's demeanor just calm, calm down in gratitude. So what this Haredi man does is, the woman takes the baby in her arms, the man takes the stroller, he lifts it up, and he lifts it over the wall so that now the stroller's outside. Once the stroller's outside, this woman can wiggle through to get outside and before her baby starts to cry and everything works out okay. That's it. That's the whole story. <coughs> it's a prosaic story. Could have been a conflict a secular person, a religious person in Israel, there are conflicts sometimes, sometimes they don't respect each other. But just a little story in a restaurant where each of them treated each other with respect. Nothing special, just a, just a little story. But it's the last line. Sarah writes, two people from vastly different words, worlds sharing one beloved city. Here it is. These things happen all the time here. We just need to believe them to see them. We just need to believe them to see them. If I really believe that you and I, as different from each other as we can be. And maybe as distrustful of each other as we may be. But also, if we can believe that each of us is Tselem Elohim, that each of us believes that we, each of us, reflects God in our own way, if we believe we can be kind and respectful, we are capable of being kind and respectful to people who are different than us. If we believe that, then we will see it happen. Maybe not every time. Not every human interaction is a positive interaction or even a neutral interaction. but surprisingly often. And that is the significance of this concept, this magnificent concept at the very beginning of the Torah, that every person is created but Tselem Elohim. Tselem Elohim being created in God's image means that this encounter, which is making me a little anxious or a little nervous, it can be okay. It can be good. Because I reflect God and you reflect God. Tselem Elohim, the fact that this is written in the Torah, asks us to believe that that is possible and to look for it. And having this magnificent statement at the very beginning of the Torah promises us that often, not always, but surprisingly often, if we believe it and if we look for it, we will find it. 
every one of us is Tselem Elohim. My friends, I want to wish you a great day, and I look forward to seeing you soon in person.